Crowley back to Piper, a one-timer from Knutz, and clubbed hard and off the boards wide onto the stick of McHugh. Back to Pauly in front, over to the side of the net, it dribbles home for Kerr. So Pauly getting in on that activity in front, but Chris Kerr is going to be the benefactor this time. That's his second goal of the series. And the ice is cracked 5-0-1 into this first period with Kerr's fifth goal, 15th point of the season. It's one to nothing, one empty. Yeah, big time play for the Wild there. Anytime you can get on the board. To Kerr. Hard pass through the box for Pauly. Doesn't connect. Gets it back to the net. Kerr scores! Great dangle by Pauly. Far side of the net. Throws it across the blue paint. And Pauly had nothing but twine to shoot at. Kerr, excuse me, had nothing but twine to shoot at. His second goal of the night on the power play. One on a power play goal for Dawson Creek. It's Matthews who cranks one to the net over the far side line. That one goes wide of the net. The Wild have numbers the other way. Breaking in. Redmond forehand dragging. Knocked down in the slot. Rebound comes to the near circle. It goes back to the far side point as the power play begins. Pauly across to Kerr. Hat trick! And a playmaker for Pauly to boot. Those two have been like an atom bomb tonight with everything rotating in the right order. They are inseparable. So Wenatchee up three to nothing. That's their largest lead. And Kerr coming in, throws to Colt, scores! Chris Kerr has four points now. 11 seconds apart, the Wild score a power play goal and a five-on-five goal. So swept all the way out and down. Hartley contacting Felnemir through the middle. Across to Matthews, he scores! His fourth goal of the series. Schmidbauer blocks this pass attempt, and Tafoya could split the uprights on a breakaway if he has time. Pauly on the drop, he scores! Sean Pauly continues to be white hot. Assisting on all three of Chris Kerr's goals tonight, he will get his fourth point with his first goal of the evening. Is this has been their most explosive offensive game of the season on home ice for certain. Sailor engaged by Abood. Kerr chipping ahead to himself. Seals it away, going straight down. Rister backhand scores! Chris Kerr! Four goals, the first Wenatchee Wild player in their history to accomplish that feat. And a half a dozen in total in the net tonight for the Wild. They lead it 6-1. to one. Chris Kerr, once, once I see him get that breakaway, I had a good feeling about it. And uh, he definitely finished it tonight. tonight. Some players, some good players just have those nights. And tonight is his night. And uh, hopefully the fans give him a standing out here. We'll do it. Game number three of this series easily goes to the Wenatchee Wild. As they douse the Dawson Creek Rage with a half dozen in the net. Six to one, the final score on a historic night for the Wild. Chris Kerr scores four goals. Becomes the first Wild player in history to go beyond the hat trick. He had one tonight, a natural hat trick, scoring three power play goals in succession, and then finished out the record with the final goal of this game for the Wild. Other two tonight go to Cope and Pauly. We just mentioned to you that Matthews had the straight digit for Dawson Creek. Wild win it 6-1 to one and take five out of six points over this three-game weekend series with Dawson Creek. Upside, come back.